Hi, I'm James Underwood. I'm Senior Lecturer in English Literature at the University of Huddersfield. And my research focuses on 20th and 21st century poetry, particularly post-1945 poets. But in fact, most, if not all, of my work intersects very closely with the subject of life writing. So my first book, Early Larkin, which is published by Bloomsbury, that's not a biography of the young Larkin. It's a critical study of his literary development. But of course, in thinking about a writer's literary development, it's necessary to think about all the different ways in which the life contributes to their development, but also perhaps gets in the way of their literary development. I've written an, an account of Ted Hughes's National Service period, which fills an important gap in that poet's biography. And I'm also really interested in thinking more generally about the connections between literature and life writing. So one of the things I'm really interested in is literary correspondence in poets' letters, in what we do with those letters and how we might use those letters to form ideas about a poet's life and work. And right now I'm engaged in a couple of life writing projects, one of them relating to the 20th century poet Elizabeth Jennings autobiographical writings. Jennings wrote several versions of an autobiography during her lifetime and tried to get these published but never succeeded in doing so. And that's feeding into a bigger project which is to write the first group biography of the movement. The movement being the first significant literary development to emerge in post-war Britain and Elizabeth Jennings was, was a member of that movement. There, there are two things about life writing that, that really fascinate me. The first is the opportunity to, to tell people's life stories, to write people's life stories. Um, whether that's because those lives have not been written before, or they've perhaps not been written in much detail, or you think that they need to be written with a very different emphasis. That is a, a real privilege to do, I think, but also a really fascinating task. But the second thing is the fact that life writing is not a kind of straightforward or innocent activity. There are all sorts of ethical and conceptual and theoretical issues involved in the practice of life, life writing. And I think it's really fascinating to think some of those through and to unpick them. So if any of this sounds like the kind of thing that you're interested in, please do consider coming to join us at the University of Huddersfield. It's a very exciting time to be at the university if you are someone who's interested in life writing in all its different forms.